Hello guys today we are going to see this new topic that is euler stoichian function this function uh, this topic is actually the topic of our number theory this comes under number theory actually okay now this function or this method is all about counting the positive integers up to a given integer such that these two numbers are relatively prime means what um, okay first of all this euler stoichian function is denoted by phi uh, let's say phi of n so when i am saying phi of n when i am saying that i have to find out phi of n this is phi uh, finding out phi of n means finding out the number of positive integers such that those number of integers n this n are relatively prime fine so this is the use of this euler stoichian function now there are certain steps now this is one of the very important functions right uh, you must have heard the name of rsa algorithm rsa encryption algorithm that we are having this function is used in that rsa algorithm or such big algorithms also so it is basically a small function but it is used in the proof of many big functions so it is very important to understand this thing now to solve or to find out euler stoichian function of any number n we have to perform uh, certain steps so these are the steps i have noted down here for you so let's see first of all this one is understandable this one is accepted that phi of 1 is always equal to 0 whenever you are asked to find out phi of 1 or in case you are finding out phi of some other number and uh, finding out step by step there comes a step where you are stuck with phi of 1 at that place you can directly write that once you have got phi of 1 you can directly write that the answer we want is 0 so phi of 1 is always 0 then second one is if you want to find out phi of p and p is prime you can write it as p minus 1 this means what we if we have to find out phi of n and if this given number n is prime you can directly write it answer as n minus 1 fine okay then third third is phi of m cross n if you are having two numbers or if you are having one number n and you have broken it out into two numbers right like n1 and n2 so its answer would be equal to multiplication of both individually like phi of m cross n is equal to individually multi uh, multiplying them phi of m into phi of n you have to find euler stoichian function of both individually and then you can multiply them the answer we will get in both is same fine then the last one is phi of p raised to e means if you can convert this n into p raised to e that is into some exponential form then its answer would be equal to p raised to e minus p raised to e minus 1 so these are the main steps only four steps are there that you have to remember okay one more point i want to specify here is in this case phi of m cross n like here i have uh, specified the condition that p is prime right so here also i can directly write that phi of m cross n is equal to phi of m cross phi of n if and only if this m and n are relatively prime you know what relatively prime means right in relatively prime means their hcf should be one the highest common factor of those two numbers should be one so if m and n are relatively prime then and only then i can say that it is equal to phi of m into phi of n okay fine so these are the steps you have to remember okay one more point whenever you are given phi of n these are the four steps that is fine but if you are given phi of n first of all what we will do is we will first of all we will try to convert it into form p of e right if it is possible we will convert we will first give priority to this formula whenever n is given if possible we will convert it into the form of p p raised to e and we will apply this formula in case we can in case it is not directly converted in this form then we will try to convert it into this form m cross n and if it is prime then there is no question we will directly apply this okay so let's take couple of examples so that you will get a clear idea that how we will apply this function so these are the steps let it be in a side okay so let's solve first of all let's take the uh, example let's say we have to find phi of 10 right we have to find phi of 10 
so as i told you we will start with this step we will try to convert 10 into p raised to e so is it possible that i can convert 10 into p raised to e let's take 2 raised to something no 3 raised to something is 10 no 4 raised to something is 10 no so it is not possible apparently to convert 10 into in the form of p raised to e so the next step is we will first first step is we will see that either it is prime or not if it is prime directly i can convert it i can write the answer as p, uh, p minus 1 so is 10 prime no we know that p is not prime because it is divisible by 2 5 so it is composite so i cannot apply this i will tr i have uh, tried to convert it into p raised to e form but that is also not possible so i will not apply this also so the third step is I will try to convert it into the form of m cross n. So yes, this I can do because we know that 5 cross 2 is 10. So I will convert it into 5 of 10. I can break it into 5 cross 2. Now I know that 5 of m cross n, I can write it as 5 of m cross 5 of n if m and n are relatively prime. So yes, 5 and 2, both are obviously, both are individually also, they are prime numbers. So they are relatively prime. So I can write it as 5 of, applying this one, I can write it as 5 of 5 into 5 of 2. Now 5 is a prime number, right? So it is a prime number, so I can apply it as p minus 1. So 5 of 4, I can write it as p minus 1. 5 minus 1. Again 2 is a prime number, so I can write again p minus 1 means 2 minus 1. So it is equal to 4 into 1. So I got the answer 4. So what we got as a conclusion, as I as I have told you Euler's Torsion Theorem. So what I can say that there are 4 integers up to 10 such that those integers and 10 are relatively prime. So if we find out we will get there are 4 numbers such that the, the HCF of those numbers and 10 is 1. Okay, so this is first example. It is very simple actually. If you know these steps and you should know the priority as I told that first we will check this prime or not. Then we will check this and then we will check this. Once you are used to these points, then it is very easy to solve. Okay, let's take one, two more example. Mm. Let's say we want to find, I will show you one, one type of all, right? Let's say we want to find out five of 11. So as I told you, first of all, we'll check this. So, P is prime or not? Is 11 prime? Yes, we know that 11 is prime. So, directly I can write P minus 1. 11 minus 1, that is equal to 10. It is that simple. Fine. Then, let's take 5 of 16. For example, we have to find 5 of 16. So, we will check first of all this. That is it prime or not? Is 16 prime? No, we know that 16 is not prime. It is composite. So, we cannot apply this. Then, we will check this one. That is, can I convert 16 into some form of p raised to e? So, starting with 2. Can I write 2 raised to something equal to 16? Yes, we know that 2 raised to 4 equal to 16. So, I can convert it into 5 of 16. I can write 2 raised to 4. Now, what I have... If I am having 5 of p raised to e, I can write it as p raised to e minus p raised to e minus 1. So, I can write it as p raised to e minus p raised to e minus 1. Means 2 raised to 4 minus 2 raised to 3. That is equal to 16 minus 8. That is equal to 8. Okay. Then we are having, okay, let's take one more example. Let's take one more example, 5 of 49. Let's take 5 of 49. Now, first of all, is 49 prime? No, 49 is not prime, right? As we know, 7 cross 7 is 49. So, we will check this one. That can I convert 49 into the form of p raised to e? So, yes, I can convert because as we know, 7 square is 49. So, I can convert it into 7 square. So, 5 of p raised to e is p raised to e minus p raised to e minus 1. So, 7 square minus p raised to e minus 1. That is equal to 7 square minus 7 raised to 1. 49 minus 7 that is equal to 42. And 
that I've already told that if I'm given only right phi of 1 then we know that phi of 1 I can directly say that it is 0 so these are the examples where almost all the steps are covered so the only thing you have to remember is the sequence in which we have to check first of all prime number then p dash to e then multiplication of two numbers so it is a very simple topic try more examples if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section i hope you have understood it it is actually very simple thank you so much